Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be bringing you my very own booktube book tag. Um, I've been watching a whole bunch of your guys' book tags lately and I'm absolutely loving them. Um, there's so many that I really want to film. But then I was thinking last night, how awesome would a wine book tag be? I mean, there's chocolate, there's baking, there's all sorts of fun book tags out there. Um, and then I had a look to see if someone had actually done a wine book tag. Um, I love wine, it's one of my favourite things. Um, and I couldn't find one, so I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I could actually be the first person to come up with this book tag. Um, so everyone, if you like wine, um, and it is wine o'clock wherever you are, um, it's wine o'clock somewhere in the world, then please pour yourself a glass and let's get started with um, some wine and questions about books. Question number one is box wine. Name a book that most of your friends would really judge you over for enjoying it, um, but you just really loved it anyway and you couldn't care less what they thought. Um, for me, I chose The Perfect Letter by Chris Harrison. Um, for those of you that don't know, he is the host of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, um, which is an ABC TV program that I absolutely love. Um, all of my friends laugh at me for enjoying it as much as I do. I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, and I fall in love with the main characters all the time, especially Ben Higgins, um, the guy that is going to be the new Bachelor, I think, next year? I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, so Chris Harrison wrote this debut novel. And it is about Lee, um, Lee Merrill, I think her name is, and um, she's from Texas, and she flees, um, she flees Texas, and I think goes to New York City, where she becomes um, a really successful literary agent. Um, and yeah, she just tries to escape her past because quite a lot of dodgy things happened, and um, she's got quite a couple of skeletons in her closet. Um, and then what happens is they actually have, um, I think it's like a book conference or a writer's conference um, that's held in Texas. So she's got to go all the way back there for the first time in years. And just before she departs, her boyfriend gets down on one knee and pops a question. And she doesn't really know what to say, so she um, takes some time off to think about it. And um, just, yeah, when she gets to Texas, um, her high school sweetheart, you could call him, um, kind of stumbles carelessly back into her life. Um, but there's a lot of things with to do with her past, the bad things, that is because of him and um, they all get brought up. So um, it's a lot about, um, there's a lot of mystery and crime, some thriller, sex, it's a bit of everything. It's really saucy, really juicy, keeps you on the edge of your seat and it's just a really good book. And um, I really didn't care that people thought that I was a bit weird for liking it as much as I did. Um, I loved it, and uh, yeah, go Chris Harrison. Question number two is organic wine. Um, choose a book that is um, just absolutely perfect. There's no added crap to it, nothing unnecessary put in it. It's just to you, one of the best books that covers everything perfectly. And for me, that book has to be The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. This book, oh my word, there's a little bird with lots of little baby birds. Sorry. Okay, so this book, it tackles absolutely every sort of young adult issue that you could possibly go through, um, from sexuality, drugs, depression, suicide. Um, it, it covers every topic, um, but it does it in this completely easy to read way. It doesn't overwhelm you, um, and for that reason I just think that it's it's perfect. Um, it, it's not heavy, but it's it's almost... It's like this book could be your best friend. You can totally relate to it. No matter who you are, you will find something that you can relate to in this book. Um, and also, I just absolutely fell in love with every single one of the characters. They are all so likeable, so wonderful. Um, I just love this book. Question number three is Glühwein. Choose a book that is a really spicy, wintry read for you. And um, I don't know about you, but for me, in winter, I love to read more um, mystery or thriller. Um, so for me, it just has to be Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. You know, to call this book a, a thriller or a crime novel, um, it just doesn't even do it justice. This is one of the best books I've ever read. Um, yeah, just get a copy now. This book is just honestly filled to the brim with twists and turns that you'd never expect. Um, 
and it's all about, you know, the breakdown of a marriage um, with just this really dark wit and humour um, that you really just couldn't find in any other book. Um, so for me, it's just got that spice and that twang that you really need in a good wintry thriller. Question number four is going to be um, Sauvignon Blanc. So you're going to choose a book that you found really sharp and aggressive, and by aggressive I mean um, it really demanded your attention and you just couldn't put it down. Um, and for me that's got to be Wild by Cheryl Strayed. Um, basically the book starts with Cheryl who, um, she lost her mum about five years ago and her marriage is crumbling apart, so she decides to go and hike the Pacific Crest Trail once her divorce comes through and it's just fantastic, you know, um, it really shows and proves that women can do everything that a man can do. Um, we are independent beings, um, I am a traveller and so this book just grabbed my attention, I was rooting for her the whole time and just needed to find out what happened to her. It's fantastic, um, living in the wild, um, you know, purifying water, camping, meeting people along the way, it's just, it was completely my cup of tea. Question number five is going to be Pinot Noir. So this is going to be a book that you really didn't expect much from, but it, it just really grew on you and you couldn't help but love it. And for me it is Eleven by Mark Watson. Um, basically I really don't want to give too much away about these books, so it's very quick um, summaries of them, but the message I got out of this book is that every single individual act that every single one of us do um, it, it spirals. So whatever you do, whatever you say to whoever you say something to, whether it be a shop assistant or your gardener or just the most random person that comes across you in your life on a daily basis, um, whatever you say, what they do next is going to be because of what you've done and then whatever they say to someone else is going to be, you know, everything, it's like every everyone in life has um, has a message and so whatever you do or whatever you say to someone it means something and it's going to make the world and the future change and it is just such a fantastic book and that is what this book really gave me. I picked it up completely accidentally in the shop one day and um, I saw that it um, on the front it said if you loved one day by David Nichols this is for you and Cosmopolitan wrote that. Um, I didn't like the cover, um, I thought it looked a bit boyish and um, and it just blew me away. Um, I love One Day by David Nichols um, and this just, the message I got from it was just priceless. Question number six is Chardonnay. Uh, choose a book that you found had like this super zesty feel to it and is just a really good summer read and I chose Wives vs Girlfriends by Katie Agnew. Um, again a book that I just didn't expect much from um, but it blew me away. This book is set in Spain in the summer which is why I say it's perfect um, as a summer read um, and it follows the lives of I think four women um, and you know they've all got different things going on in their lives whether they be wives or girlfriends um, it's not exactly the, the book that I thought it was was going to be um, I thought that they meant wives versus girlfriends like mistresses um, so I was quite keen on that and um, so I really didn't expect what became of this book is basically there are wives and there are girlfriends in this book. Um, all the girls are kind of friends, um, which means girlfriends, and some of them are wives and some of them are only girlfriends. I'm, I'm just rambling now, but anyway, so um, this book, it's just all about relationships and um, soccer players and the life of the rich and the famous and the glamorous and um, it's just, it's a little bit of everything I found. Um, not one of my favourite books, but definitely one that I really enjoyed during summer. So, um, yeah, give it a go if you want to. Um, I think it's Posh Spice on the front. Um, <laughs> yeah, just so you know, that's about it really. It's not my favourite book, but I couldn't find the one that really like related to summer for me. 
Page number seven is Rosé. Uh, choose a book that had a little bit of everything for you in it and um, it was just like a really nice, light, quick read. And for me, I chose um, Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans. Um, I have read one of her other books in the past and absolutely hated it, um, so I was really surprised when I enjoyed this one as much as I did. The reason I say that this book has a little bit of everything is because um, for me it had a dash of London, a twist of New York and just, you know, a sprinkle of that glamorous life of the publishing industry. Obviously it's not actually that glamorous if you are in it, I'm sure, but for me I just love to learn about it as a writer and as a, um, a reader. Um, so to me this book just had everything that I am interested in. It's got um, a bit of, you know, real life issues and problems, relationships and sex. Um, it's got absolutely everything I wanted in a book at the stage of my life where I was in. I don't want to um, say too much about these books as I've said, but what I can say is what I took away from this book is that no one knows where they're going to end up and that's the beauty of life um, and that's the message I got from this book is this girl she was completely different in the beginning to how she was in the end um, not you know personality wise but just where she was in life in general um, I say that this this would be a really wonderful book if you are going through a transition in life um, definitely a book that um, you should read it's really beautiful um, Question number eight is Shiraz. Name a book that for you is full-bodied, dark and juicy and for me it's, it just has to be The Ice Twins by S.K. Tremaine. Um, I'm almost finished this book. I'm so close to the end and if you've been wondering why I'm dressed up so much today it's because I'm actually going to a wedding in... Oh I hope it's not... What time is it? Okay I've still got a little while. I'm trying to film this before the wedding um, and um, I wish I just I need to finish these last few pages, um, but I've got to go and watch um, a wedding and go and party a little bit. Um, hence why I'm also having wine. Um, not that I'm you know upset or ungrateful that I'm watching a union of two beautiful people. Um, I'm just so excited to finish this book. It is fantastic. Um, the reason that you know it is full bodied. It is absolutely stunning. Um, to me this is one of the best books that I have read in a very long time. It is dark, it is dirty, it is juicy, there are insane sex scenes, um, fantasies, there's thrill and excitement and it is just absolutely amazing. I'm going to be doing a book review on it um, once I've finished it so I'm not going to say too much but yeah, just um, keep your eye out for this one because it's just phenomenal. Question number nine is Merlot. Choose a book that is a smooth, easy read and has a soft finish. Um, for this I chose my own. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have actually written a book. Oh, I'm giving it to you upside down. Uh, the Other Woman by Jade Wright, which is me. Um, I decided to do some um, shameless... Uh, Called promotion in my in my tag today. Um, this book is basically about a woman who becomes a mistress to a married man um, without knowing that he's married, and what happens after she finds out that he is married. You know the um, the fight between morals and what's right, um, and two people that absolutely love each other and adore each other but really can't be together because everything in the world is against them and um, this is a a romance, a um, th there is a bit of thrill in it as well, um, there's a little bit of dark, deep um, juiciness to it, there are one or two sex scenes, um, it's also very much about a woman that is really struggling to get out of an abusive relationship with her boyfriend, um, she lives with him and her father's dying so she can't go and move back home, um, the boyfriend beats her up and is addicted to cocaine, um, so it's really got a little bit of everything in it um, that a woman I think can relate to, um, whether it be um, a cheating drug addict, abusive boyfriend or falling in love with someone that you can't have. Um, yeah, and 
as much as much as it is like covering hard topics I do it in a fun way um, where it's really light and easy to follow um, and the ending is just really sweet um, it's a happy ending so and it took me a while to find the ending but um, I did it so yeah um, let me know if you guys are interested in this um, I'm very proud of it so yeah Okay guys, we're on to the final question, and this one is Champagne. Um, name your favourite book of all time. Um, the reason I chose this for Champagne is because, you know, Champagne is la di da um, It is the best of the best, so I decided let's share our favourite books for this one. For me, that is One Day by David Nichols. I have discussed this probably three times in my other videos already. Um, so as you can tell, um, no surprise, this is the favourite. Um, this book is just... Oh, I give this book to everyone as presents. Um, there's something you can really take away from it from, from any perspective. Um, but what I loved about it is that it's about a, a guy and a girl who are best friends. Um, they clearly love each other, but they keep missing opportunities to be together as a couple. Um, it's just... I have read this numerous times and I never reread books. It's just not a thing that I normally do. Um, at the time I read it, I was very in love with my best friend at the time. Um, his name is Michael, and things didn't work out. Um, but yeah, this book really gave me hope because it, I think it goes over a span of quite a number of years. I don't know if it's seven or twelve years or something. It's been a while since I've read it. Um, but yeah, it's just about where these two friends are every day for all those years on the day that they met. And I just found the entire concept absolutely beautiful. I love the movie, but the book is just so much better. Um, yeah. So please give this a read. You will not regret it. It's beautiful. Okay, guys. So that is um, my first ever booktube tag. Um, I'm hopefully going to make more because I really enjoyed coming up with these questions. Um, let me know what you thought. I'm going to tag um, some booktubers down below that I'd love to see your videos on this on. Um, and yep, I just hope that you guys have a lovely week. I'll see you on Friday. I've decided that I'm going to be doing um, two... I'll do it that way. Two um, videos a week from now on. I'm going to do one on Mondays and one on Fridays. So two videos a week from Boho Bookworms. Um, it's going to mainly be book reviews or book tags, um, the occasional other thing, but mainly this. Um, so I'm really excited to share things with you and hear from you. And um, yeah, please, as soon as you've recorded your videos on this, and um, even if I haven't tagged you, please um, do this and send them to me. I'd love to watch them. I'll watch every single one of them. Um, and definitely give it a thumbs up, I'll comment on it, I'll do everything because this community is just so fun. So um, yep, uh, I will see you soon, I'm gonna go enjoy a wedding now and boogie! See you Monday!